Hey guys, it's Max, and we're back with Battle Code 2016. I want to see some action, so the fastest way to do that is to get the map editor out and spawn in some units so that they can have combat. Alright, one way to do that is down in your main Battle Code release folder, right click on build.xml, and we're going to make a new configuration here. So I'll select new. And I'll change the name to something helpful like BC16 Map Editor. And under Targets, we're going to select Map Editor and we can deselect Build. Map Editor is going to stay the same no matter what you do, so there's no need to compile beforehand. Okay, so we can push Apply, and now anytime we run BC16 Map Editor, we're going to get the Map Editor. An identical way to launch the map editor is to go to the directory where you've installed battle code using git shell for example and type ant map editor. Both are the same way of doing the same thing. So when this finishes we're gonna see the map editor is gonna pop up. Brand new map editor this year. Not so many of the quirks as last year. I think you're gonna like it. So it'll show up in just a minute now. I think you're going to be pretty happy with all the new features. Uh, you know, there is such a thing as, all right, there we go. <laughs> okay, so, so we see the new map editor is here. And uh, you can load a map that exists. You can save a map. It opens up a dialog box. You can resize the map. So say we change the width to 40, you've got to click the resize button. We're just going to do 30 by 30. According to the symmetry, when you place units, it'll put units of the opposite team on the other side. What I'd really like to do is place some units that'll fight one another. So I'm just going to put them right in the middle, and they're going to come directly across the way. So let's see here, put some guards, a couple of scouts so they can see one another. Yeah, a couple of turrets. These are going to have to pack up into their mobile version. Some vipers. Might as well put some zombies in there, I don't know, make it more exciting. So first we'll get a den and we'll switch to the zombie team, put some zombie dens in. Then let's get some standard zombies. Uh, some ranged ones. Oh yeah, that's good. Some fast ones. And just a couple of big ones. Make it scary. Uh, for rubble, let's make this map easy to traverse. I'll just put some in the corners for flavor and decoration. There, just like that. Alright, and let's get some parts going. Um, Let's reward any player that has the guts to go to the middle of the map. That's going to be a real big part center here. And like that, I think I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as uh, four-way mayhem. I don't think I need to put .xml. And I'm going to put this in the maps folder of my battle code install directory. Okay, four-way mayhem. Now if I just push resize, it clears the whole thing and I can start over again. Um, let's make a map where pathing is more important. So we'll start with just a couple of archons at the top and bottom corner. And we'll make some rubble that really obstructs motion. 200 rubble. That's a lot of rubble. So here's you know, a couple of these little pieces that'll get in the way a tiny bit. Then a bigger obstruction. Something like that. Then we'll get a couple more just like this. Kinds of things that'll be annoying. Imagine you're going from place to place and this is the kind of thing you encounter when you're trying to get there. Oh boy, now I gotta go all the way around. Oh man, oh geez. Why would they put that construction there? It's been there for six months and I'm just trying to get to work. That kind of thing. Okay, and so that we don't have to wait for these units to spawn, we'll just put a couple of soldiers in. Not a huge number um, just enough so that they can they can start to get going. Actually, let's put guards because soldiers they can shoot over terrain obstacles, but guards they're melee units, so they got to get there manually. 
Um, and then lastly, I think we should put a couple of zombie dens in there just because I don't know. I like the zombie dens. They're kind of they're kind of exciting. We'll just put these two, and oh, maybe we'll put. Um, I don't know, we could hide some in the rubble, like, oh, if you dig up that rubble, you know what's going to happen to you? You're going to get, you're going to uncover a nest of zombies. All right, so let's save this one as um, get to work. You know, like you're trying to get to work. Uh, okay, we'll save that. And in the next video, we're going to make some players, and we're going to run them on these maps. But um, let's just check that the maps work. So. What we'll do is, you see now this runs the most recent tool, BC16 Map Editor. So I've got to select the down arrow and select Run instead if I want to do the same thing as doing and Run. And that way I'll be able to run the client and check and see if these map editor maps are good. When the client opens, I'll be selecting those maps and just any old player. I have right now in my battle code install directory, I've got three or four players. Um, none of them are really any good, so I'll just pick example Funk's player and and then later on together we're gonna write a new one. A better one. So here we go. Let's find that map. We've got four way mayhem. I think we ought to try four way mayhem. What do you think? Here we go. There might be a little bit of lag and stuttering because my video encoding is sort of competing with battle code for CPU resources. So if it drops frames or it looks a little jerky, that's why. All right, I think we're seeing some four-way mayhem right now. Whoa, -ho. that's exciting. You see robots are getting destroyed, a lot of combat, leaving behind piles of rubble. The zombies are infecting these robots, and I think that's causing the number of the total number of zombie robots to be higher than it otherwise would be. And you know, the two example funks players are identical and the robot armies from the zombies were identical but looks like red came out a lot on top compared to blue it's pretty interesting that's one of the reasons why I like these symmetric maps and to have the same player on both sides gives you an idea of what could have gone either way for now that's all and we'll try to make a better robot player in the next one see you then